Hello everybody, it is Alathane the reviewer here with a quick little unboxing to show you guys. What I have today is the Iwachu Cast Iron Tamagoyaki Omelette Pan. Uh, this nice little item I got from Amazon, paid about 60 bucks for it, got it on sale. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you really quick. The packaging, I just want to say it's really nice. Uh, just go ahead and slice this open really quick. And it's something I've always wanted to get into. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about tamagoyaki, seeing them be made. And I wanted to avoid uh, doing kind of anything non-stick. I try to keep non-stick out of my life as much as possible. The only exception being my rice cooker. Uh, so what we got here is the packaging inside. It's very nicely packaged. I just want to say that uh, it's pretty easy to uh, remove as well. Just got to go ahead and actually get all of this plastic off here and it lifts right out. So got it in plastic. Um, it also is pre-seasoned, which I do like. Uh, there was no rust on it at all. It has a very smooth finish that I was really happy to see. So they just got a little warning bag here. Let me go ahead and take this off. Uh, don't put that over any children's heads. That is a suffocation hazard. And here is the documentation right here. A couple of little items in here I wanna show you guys. Uh, the first one you're gonna see coming up in a little bit is gonna be a little certificate of trademark. And uh, now I just do want to say as much as I am into uh, the Japanese language, I'm not proficient enough to read uh, most of the documentation here. Um, I can just gather bits and pieces here. Um, unfortunately, with that little thing you see right there, I saw the word trademark on it. Uh, a couple other words, Kono, something, wa. So not much able to read with it, but I appreciate it being there. Uh, next, we got another little piece of paper. Really nice, a lot of kanji on there, so that one wasn't very easy to read. Another on the back right there. So let me show you this last little documentation. This one is just the care um, and instructions. A lot of warnings on here, things not to do. Um, essentially though, if you're familiar with anything from Lodge or any other cast iron cookware you've got at home, you really don't have to worry about much. You're just gonna wanna take care of it the exact same way. Uh, the only difference really being is the wooden handle. You may just, you know, definitely want to keep this um, hand wash only. You don't want to stick this in the dishwasher. Uh, you don't want to really shock it or do anything that's really going to damage it because, you know, this isn't just some $12 lodge cast iron. This is a $60 Japanese um, tamagoyaki pan. So really take care of it. Use it only for its intended purposes. I'm only going to be using this for tamagoyaki, the rolled egg omelet. I'm not gonna be using this to do any kind of frying or doing one little hamburger steak or anything like that. Uh, so just looking at the little kind of finish here, I'm really impressed with it. It's not perfectly smooth like, you know, maybe a carbon steel pan, but compared to say a lodge, that finish is pretty good. Um, what you got there is just a little speck there from the packaging, but um, that came right off once I brushed it away. But yeah, that feel, is amazing because it still has the roughness though but it's gonna be well non-stick i can already tell um you got the iwachu um, brand stamp made in japan that was on the bottom there there's the little bit of a speck there um not sure where that came from but not that big of a deal it's gonna get some use nice little hook on the end if you do want to hang this up over your countertops or in your kitchen for ease of use and filling this handle it's pretty solid so let me know what you guys think. I'm going to have a review coming up pretty soon for this. I can't wait to show you guys. Later.